viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a home of accurate news and current news. For those who subscribe to our channel, God bless you for subscribing. And if you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Hekowas court gives final ruling on Inam Dekanu's arrest, detention by federal government. An Hekowas court sitting in Abuja has dismissed an application by the high Pub leader in Nam de Kanu. The courts ruled that the Nigerian government's arrest and detention of Kanu is lawful. The courts also acknowledge that the plaintiff had the local standing legal capacity to approach the court for the alleged violation of his human rights. The Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS has ruled that the arrest and detention of the leaders of the indigenous people of Biafra Hypop in Namdekanu by the Nigerian government were lawful. The court, while delivering its ruling on a suit by Kanu alleging torture, assault, inhuman treatment, and the violation of his property rights by the Nigerian government, said the actions of the former were not unlawful or arbitrary. In the judgment, Delivered on Wednesday, December 11, Justice Dupe Atoki said the plaintiff had the local standing legal capacity to approach the court for the alleged violation of his human rights. The court, presided by a three member panel, dismissed an application by Kanu $800 million. Ruling on the parties in the matter, the court struck out the names of the second and third defendants. Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice and Director General State Security Services, who are not signatory to the ECOWAS revised treaty. According to the court, the names listed are improper parties while leaving the false defendant, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as the sole defendant in the case. So my viewers today, what is your take? What is your own opinion about this ma about the case of Inam de Kanu, about what the ECOWAS did? And a lot of people made a comment and said, the fact of the matter is that the court had judged that he does not have any mandate to lead the high pub, though he has the legal right as an individual to approach the court, meaning he has been acting on the self-elected, arrogated ma mandate. This is ridiculous in nature. This has called for a proper election among the high pope to convene and elect their leader properly and go back to the court. And somebody said, whom hmm, this one is serious. The issue is not problem of AU. The cause is from high pope leader, which is Maxi Inam De Kanu. I believed in him with love that he has for his that he has for his people. I want that. If he continues with his case in Nigeria, the pressure of of Biafrans, it wouldn't go down like like as country is today because everybody will put attention on him to numbers of years that he spent in detention before referendum. So therefore, he needs to emulate Nelson Mandela and some other prominent leader that is delivered their people promised land. If it's true, he wants liberation for his people make his stand firm. I believe with prayers and support would not happen to him. So with prayer and support, of course, I believe everything will work well. He should keep his stand. He should keep going on. The race is not easy. And then the Kanu should keep the race going up. And somebody said, Kanu, not only Nigerians, but the court knows that you are a troublemaker and that your arrest and detention is in the interest of Nigeria. No more trouble anymore. I believe this person does not really know what he or she is saying because Inam De Kanu is fighting for the right of for human rights. He's fighting for his people. This is the this is their right, and they deserve to have their rights. That is what we are talking about about what the the United States and UK were saying that everybody has a freedom of speech. Everybody has their rights, and we all deserve the right. Which Inam De Kanu is is what Inam De Kanu is fighting for right now. And somebody said Igbo Kanu wanted to make business as usual, but no way. This is not about business. To me, I believe that Inam De Kanu is not making business out of this. This is just a reality that we need to face and we need to know. And as somebody said, African don't have good judges. Bribe has taken over everything. Upside down judgment. Yes, 
Africa has taken over. Uh, uh, Afri- jo- we don't have good judges in Nigeria anymore. We all, the only thing that we have right now is just corrupt leaders, corrupt judges. Most of everything, they are corrupt. That is just the problem we are facing right now. But it's time for you to see a faithful leaders in Nigeria. It's going to be like one out of millions. And I pray God will help us in our country. And the take home I can, I can give in the canoe right now is just for him to keep going, for him to, to take his, his stand, for him to be firm at all costs so that he can lead his people to their promised land. And with God on their side, I believe God will do it for them. So viewers today, what is your own take? Kindly drop your comments below, click on the subscription button, and also press the bell icon to get updates whenever we upload videos. Bye.